Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I will show you how to create a new project in Visual Studio Code. I will show you some shortcuts, some tips, and I will uh, tell you how you can open project for anything in Visual Studio Code, be it Python, Java, HTML, CSS, anything. Okay, let's get started. First, open a Visual Studio Code, and you will see this screen. Uh, if you already have a project, then you will probably not be watching this video, so <laughs> let's just continue with this. So right now you can see in start there is a new file open file open folder and so on what you can do is you can directly create a new file so i'll show you an example for html and then after that i'll show you an example for python uh, in any way it's the same for both so click on any of these options now you get text file python file options now i'm getting python file option because i have python interpreter already installed in your case if you don't have interpreter for that specific language python java php nothing will be shown now what you can do is you can just click on text file because that is built in right if you click on text file this file will be created now let's say we want me to make this an html file for html file you don't need to install anything extra so uh, i'll quickly show you how you can do that so if i write html and let's just close this and let's write this is text here now hit Control S to save it. Now where do you want to save it? Let's say I want to go to desktop and I want to save this as index.html, right? HTML is the extension, click on save. Now this file is saved. Now if I go back to my desktop and hit refresh, as you can see that file is created. Now if I double click on this, it will open in browser and it is showing this is text. So basically we have created a project in VS Studio Code, but this is a very primitive way and let me step above this and let me show you how you can do this a bit more professionally. Okay, so you can directly choose new file and create that file and save that file as .html, .py or .php and that file will be saved in that specific format, but that is not how we should do it. So first, what we should do is, let's say we want to start a new web development project, right? Click on file and then you need to click on open folder and where do you want to see create that project so let's say i want to create it in the d and let's say yeah this is where i want to create it so you can just do select folder but that will select this d drive and not any specific folder inside it right so what you can do is go inside any specific folder that you want and let's right click here and create, click on new and then folder let's call it vs code project one and then once the folder is created select that folder and click on select that folder select folder okay so as you can see here okay you'll see this message do you want to trust uh do you trust the authors of these files in this folder click on yes and this is our folder right this is our project so you can click this button that is new file and your new file will be created again i'll call it index.html to rename it you can just right click again and click on where is it rename html okay and here again you can write html code as we have already done and let's again say file right and what you can do is to see this folder in your Explorer, you can just right click and click on where is it? Reveal in Explorer. Or the shortcut is Shift Alt R, right? So let's just select this and press Shift Alt and R. And as you can see, this file is created inside this folder. So we have our D drive and then we have projects. And inside projects, VS Code Project 1 is there. And here we have our index.html. And this is how you can create a new project in Visual Studio Code. Now, let's say if you have, if you are doing this for a programming language like PHP, Python, or Java, how can you do it? So the process of creating the project folder or opening a folder is same. Now, if you are using a language like Python, Java, what you need to do is, besides Visual Studio Code, first you need to download and install the compiler or interpreter for the specific language you can check the links in the description i show you how to set up php python and java in visual studio code and once that is installed what you need to do is you need to go to extensions and 
install the specific extension for formatting and for autocomplete of that specific language. So that extension, for example, if I type Python, there is exam there will be Python extensions. Now these extensions help you to format code properly, you know, autocomplete classes, autocomplete functions, and so on. Uh, once the interpreter or compiler for the specific language is installed, just install this extension for your specific language and then create a new folder by file, open folder and what we did right now with this thing. Okay, instead of HTML, then you can create for any other programming language. So this is how you can create new project in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.